episode <laughs> one of this of this show, um, Gatsi, Bomangkau, and Lin joined me in the show. And after our discussion, I asked them, is there any other activity, type of activity or dive site that they still would like to do? And Lin, have, you know, after coming to the Philippines uh, two to three months in a year, since 1975, mentioned to me that he would like to come and do more of our black water and um, uh, black water diving here in the Philippines. So my question is, Ram, and perhaps Alex is also interested to, 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 to know about this, is that for divers, for Filipino divers who are in the city or those who will be flying inbound to the Philippines specifically for this type of diving, where can they, where can they do this? Uh, outside of Andilao, can you name other dive destinations that they can do this? And uh, as we speak, do we have reliable dive professionals or dive operators who can guide them? Yeah. In terms of the availability of plankton, I, I really believe from my studies and from my experience also and from asking around uh, marine, uh, marine biologists who specialize in the matter, I really believe that they're just everywhere, no, kahit saan, everywhere. Uh, uh, they're, they're, in number one, they're more populous. If there are 7 billion human beings here, maybe multiply that by 100 times. They say that in a small square meter or area, if you do a sampling population, there's already like like hundreds of thousands, if not millions of plankton there, no? because some of them are really tiny. So they're just everywhere. The The only question is, now is logistics and like what you said, no, the availability of that professionals who can assist you. So the the nice thing about Anila is that because it started there, no, there are more dive shops already that have light baits. So imagine it's you know troublesome to bring your own line and then attach them with multiple torches. You need to buy several torches, but in Anila you don't need that anymore because the dive shops can offer that, and then they have boats who are familiar with the protocols of like doing black water or bonfire in the deep now how can they make sure they don't lose the divers or the light baits and then uh, uh you have uh, dive spotters or dive guides who can make the safe know how to uh, make the uh, uh the activity safe now how to watch out for the divers how to spot critters and so on and so forth now now but but uh so that that's anilao no anilao it's more or less pretty established already in terms of that but Dumaguete is also picking up I've done like a couple of workshops there already and then the the guys are very very interested in like continuing that uh, the, the dive shops and uh, we've done um, several black water and bonfire dives then and with very very good results in Romblon also I've done it now I've done a bonfire workshop there also and uh, we we did uh, several bonfire fun dives and with excellent results also in Apo Island, I've done it once, no? and also, the, yeah, uh, great results also, All, although it's a little bit like um, uh, uh, more logistically challenging to do it in in uh, Apo, Apo Reef, no? because number one is far and the dive shop doesn't offer it, so you have to bring your own, but the action is excellent. And I've done it in Ilocosur with uh, Gutsy and another friend no? with excellent results also. And uh, where else have I done it? Now? Um, get a, and uh, you know when 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 Alex and I go out um, caving or wreck diving, like for example in uh, in El Nido, no? during our safety stops, now we normally see uh, or on our way to uh, the exit of the cave, now we'd see a lot of like plankton already floating. So that's promising. Only if the dive shops and they, they will eventually take on the activity, I'm sure they will discover it to be a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful or bountiful place for uh, for plankton to shoot. No? And Koron also the same. I remember when we worked on uh, another book project uh, a few years back, two years, three years ago, I think. Yeah, During, in all of our safety stops, I, I uh, on the stop, uh, on the way up, I mean, deco decompression stops, I would observe a lot of plankton activity also. So very promising also in Toronto. So yeah, so it's just a matter of like going around uh, all over the different established sites already in the Philippines no? and just to practice it so that the dive shops get familiar with the protocols, with the equipment and with the safety uh, safety guidelines. 
and uh, I'm sure it will um, you no know, bonfire and black water diving will become mainstream all over the Philippines. Um, in the region and probably in the world, I would say we're very lucky because um, there's a lot of, relatively speaking, a lot of black water and bonfire activity here already. And I think we're poised to become like, we are already like one of the established destinations for that. And I think we can actually like become one of the really premier destinations, not only one of the destinations, but one of the best, if not the best for black water and bonfire diving. It's...